Now, you said it's front up and also the outrage growing from parents as the state is now doubling down on its school mask mandate, saying it will stay on the books at least till the end of this month. All of that at the very same time, the state is now just two days away from lifting another of its mask mandates, affecting most of us in public places. That brings this reaction. Listen. I believe it is kind of strict, but, you know, people, some people don't really care as much uh, for others. Reaction to the mass mandate, it's still on the books statewide, even though it appeared most of the 70,000-plus fans at Sunday's Super Bowl did not wear a mask, despite being given an N95 mask to wear. The message today, which I hope is clear, is today a change isn't being made. Fox 11 News pressing the state's public health director for a clear answer on the continuing requirements, especially as the state is now doubling down on its school mask mandate, saying that will stay in place at least till the end of this month. Confirming that the data continues to be where it is, taking the time to prepare and work with the school community and communities at large, that we anticipate making the change at that point. That means teachers and students will still have to mask up outdoors in K through 12th grade statewide. It is sickening and appalling that they're dangling the carrot even further to February 28th. First, the first carrot they dangled was the vaccines, and now it's just being pushed further and further. Outrage from the mother of a two-year-old, just one, and a growing list of parents, and their backlash over students still being required to mask up at school. I just want to start crying. It's really, really frustrating knowing um, that the kids are being abused. And they're breathing in their own air from these masks. It's not healthy. Adding to the outrage, the state on Wednesday will lift some of its other requirements, no longer mandating masks in most indoor public places for all those who are vaccinated, but at the same time, still requiring masks be worn by children at schools. We no longer have control over our children. Uh, the state does, and it's frightening. This is not about the science. This is now all politics, and we demand an end to this. We've had it. We have had it. Now live, some of the strong reaction coming from the parents. Dr. Galley is counting all of this, countering all of this by saying, as far as he is concerned, California has 12% of all the students in the country here in state schools, while only 1% of the schools in the state have faced closures. And the doctor is, is crediting the mass mandate with keeping the spread of the virus down in the schools. And that's why it's one of the main reasons, he says, he wants to keep it in place at least through the end of the month. We'll see what happens then. For now, we are live here in Hawthorne. Back to you we go.